All right. My growth mindset, math, maniac, Panthers, math side, east side, west side, south side, north side, no, math side, area of triangles. It's a beautiful, glorious thing. Let's go. Whoa. Here is a triangle. Well, it's really a square and two triangles, if some have pointed out. What is the area? How many squares would this be? You could, some people pointed out, hey, you can take, this is half, this is half, this is one. So it's uh, one and a half. No, it's one plus half plus half equals a total of two, because this and this equals one, right? Plus one. One plus one. Some sloppy ones here. They're beautiful ones now. As Bob Ross says, we, we don't have mistakes. We have happy accidents. Equals two. Okay, so hmm, what's another way of looking at that? Is, and this is brilliant, what some people have come up with during class. They said, oh, Mr. Hoffman, check this out. I won't say any names. Destiny's one of them. Sorry, Destiny. Um, and and there's, there's a few others as well. Sorry for these, I can't remember. But they said, look at this, Mr. Hoffman. See this right here? If you look at this piece, right? So I get a color that pops. This blue might pop. Oh yeah, there, it kind of pops. If you look at this piece here, see that empty white space? You can take this one, I'll do it in green, and pick it up and move it into that empty white space like that. And so this one here in green here is no longer here. So we'll kind of erase that this way, right? Because it was there. And now what do you have? One, two, two squares. So it's still two square units either way. Pretty cool. All right, show you some other ways here. But this is, uh, we're going to use formulas. Yeah, because you're not, it's not always going to be that simple necessarily, I don't think. Uh, especially when you get some bigger numbers. But the formulas we will choose from are above there. Let's start with this one, base times height divided by two. Okay, so watch this. Base times height. Here's the base down here in the blue. Height, green. Uh, and by, some people say it's one and a half. The base is one and a half. The height's one and a half. You are correct if you're talking about not the base and the height, because base and height have to be lengths. It's one and a half squares. And then that's the base, right? And if you go up, it's one. I, I choose the wrong colors. Let's try to do a green one, Mr. Hoffman. Okay to go with a uh, height, there we go. It's one and a half squares. But if you're talking about the distance from here to here, it's one, two. If you're talking about the distance down below there, down under, it's gonna be a one, two. So it's two times two. So we're gonna take two times two, which gives us the entire rectangle, which is, happens to be a square in this case. That's what two, but we don't want the whole thing. We just want half of that. What's half of that? Well, half of that is four. We take half of that. So we're taking the, the, two plus, the two times two for dividing it by the two, which gives us two. So that gives us two square units either way. So even if you take this formula, you'll, the first thing we do in every one of these formulas is multiply the base times height. It just kind of set up differently. And two times two is four, but we're going to divide it in half. Ta-ta. By the way, it's two square units. I keep forgetting to add the units on my stuff. That's a rookie mistake. Okay, <laughs> two units squared, as, as we say in, in sixth grade. So we have a half again to half. But of course, since we have, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, we always do what's inside the parentheses first. So we're, even though that half's out here, we're still gonna do base times height first. Two times two is four, but we only want half of it. The triangle's half of that. Boom. Doo -doo -doo. What about this triangle? Pause the video and see if you can figure that one out. Oh, you're back. How'd you do? I bet. I wonder if you did. If you didn't do it, that's fine. But check this out. This is what somebody did in class. They said, uh, Mr. Hoffman, do you see this little piece right here? This little piece right here? You can pick that up and put it right in there and fill it in. All right. So now that little piece isn't there. So I'm going to erase it because we just moved it. Then they said, Mr. Hoffman, do you see this piece right here? Green. Pick it up and put it down here. Fill it in here. It fits. I think that's fascinating. Um, so then this isn't here anymore. All right. So what are we left with? Besides my timer going off or the meeting I have to go to uh, is three. Three square units, three units squared. Oh, there's my meeting notice again. Uh, let's snooze you. I've got five minutes.
Okay, so there's one full one, two full ones, three full ones, three fools. Look at the three fools there. <laughs> they're not empty, they're full. Oh, I don't know what I did there. Let's try. I, somehow I hit the wrong thing and it came back. Go away! You're messing up my story. Okay, so or you can do this. You can say base times height divided by two. Or base times height split it in half, right? Or half of the base times height. Here's the base times height, which is six, or half of that is three. You can do it that way as well. Um, here's one, and let's see. I'm just, oops, I guess I didn't. Let's change this number to be a little bit simpler on us right now. Let's pretend like this is a, um, let's say it's a 10. 10, yeah. We'll make this a 10. If this is 10, obviously this one's longer, so we'll just say this is a 12. All right, so what do you think we're going to do then? You could think of it as a rectangle. That's what I would do. I would think of this as a rectangle. So if I drew the other half of this rectangle, it would look like this. All right, now I would do base times height. Now remember, this 12 represents this. So that's the that's where they try to trick you. We're not even going to use that number. We're just going to use this 10 centimeters, which is the height. I'll make it green. Green is the height. Blue is the base. 30. The answer is 30. We're done, right? Next. Wait a minute. Is it 30? Did you fall for my trick? All of this is 30, but we're not trying to find all of it. We're just trying to find this part right here which is half of it. So what's half of 30? Oh, I end up getting some tricky numbers after all, I think. So 2, 30, 2, my, that's, a, that's, not, that's what time my dentist appointment is. Uh, 2 goes <laughs> into 3 one time. 1 times 2, is, so in a, it, 1 times 2 is 2. Subtract 3 minus 2 is 1. Drop the 0. How many times does 2 fit into 10? And whatever that answer is, we're going to put it up here on the top. It's not a zero. It's this. I'm trying to show you where we put the answer. That's confusing. Maybe if I did this, this is where that answer goes. See, question? Well, I got the answer. You got a question? I have an answer. It's probably not the one you want. Go ahead and ask it anyway. It's five. And then, of course, five times two is 10. Remainder is zero. So 15 is it would be 15 on this side and 15 on this side. We just want 15. 15 what? 15 centimeters. 15 cubic centimeters or 15 centimeters not cubed squared why did i say cubed that's next in a couple weeks we'll be doing cubes okay i bet you can't wait for that we'll take you to a whole new dimension okay well, it works for parallelograms too i got one minute so it's just half so if you find the base times the height remember that gives you all of this we don't want all of it we want half of it if, if if it looks like this to start with so if you get something that looks like this yeah but they won't put the height here you know where they're going to put the height i want to show you where they're going to put the height they're going to make it it's going to look really weird you're like i have no idea what to do mr hoffman so that's what we're here for they're going to do this they're going to go put the height like this and they're probably going to put like a right angle here they're going to put like say this is four well if this is four guess what this is four so that's the height. This is the height over here. The base looks like it's up here, but it's the same as this. So that's the base. So you just take the base times the height divided by 2. Take the blue times the green divide by 2. Uh, so for example, this one. Here's the blue. Oh, that's not blue. That's green. And I'm late. I got to go. I'll come back in a few minutes. Bye. Well, more like maybe tomorrow at this point. Anyhow, bye. Okay, so I'm back from my meeting. Hopefully the sound is working here. And uh, I don't know where I left off exactly. Oh, yeah, we're solving this triangle. I think I'm just going automatic here. Oh, so let's um, see. You don't know which numbers to use, do you? So we're going to take the base. And what is the base? Well, if you finish the triangle drawing it like this, right, there's the base. This is the, the height is not this. This is not the height. This would be like the length thing. The height is going to be from here to he this part right here which is equal to this three here. So the height is three. So it's five times three, but half of that. So watch what happens here. Take the three, see, that's the height. Oops, height is three. There's the base. So the base is the same as the top parallelogram, right? So 
we take 3 times 5, but uh, 3 times 5 is all of this. But we're not trying to find all of this. We're trying to find half of it. So break it in half. What's half of 15? The whole thing is 15. Half of it's mm, 7 and a half. 7.5 here, 7.5 here. All right? So if they, if they gave you one that was actually, this is like an upside down mountain here. If you put the mountain up right side up, right? The base is the bottom of the mountain down here, which is five. The height would be from the where the level of the base is, right? To the peak of the mountain. The peak of the mountain is right here. That's how high the mountain is. That's the height. So that's what happened there. Tricky, tricky, right? But so tricky, but not too bad. All right, you try this one. Okay, how'd you do? All right, we're doing the base times height. The base is just four. How tall is this mountain? We measure the mountain from where the base would be. The equivalent of the base is like over here, right? And how tall would that be? That's how tall it is, seven inches, four times. So this nine they give you is to trick you. We don't even need this. We're not using that for this problem. All we need is the four and the seven. Uh, oh, so we multiply four times seven, or so, so seven, seven, and the four, because it's base times height. So I guess I should probably write base times height, which is four times seven is 28. That's a total of 28. So 28 would be if we had the entire thing, but we only want half of that. This is half of that, isn't that 10? Oh, 28, sorry, 14. There we go, 14 inches square, 14 square inches. We'd be able to fit 14 square inches here. So let's make that super clear. This is 14, not 1.4, it's 14 inches. That's I, inches squared, 14. I'll do it again, 14 inches squared. That's what that's supposed to say up here. <laughs> okay, what about this one? Try it out. One of these we don't need at all. It's an upside down mountain. Turn it right side up. If we were to turn this right side up, it would look like this. We would just go, let's see, this is five. I think it would go up like this. Yeah. All right, and then this is 10, and this is 12, but we don't need that 12. We don't need you. Sorry, 12. And if this were a complete rectangle, Five times 10 would tell us the area of all of this. But we don't want all of it. We only want half of it, right? This half here. I didn't do the greatest job of this rectangle. It would be a little bit bigger, probably. Yeah, something, something like that. And so it would be 5 times 10 divided by 2. So the whole thing, all of this here, I'm overdoing it. I know. I'm being a little extra right now is 50, but we only want half of 50. We want this half down here, which is 25, 25 inches square. Try this one. Ooh, this is the last kind of problem we're gonna do. This is where they give you the area. The area of the triangle is 20. So they're telling you what this is. There would be 20 little boxes in here, 20. If we were to draw 20 square inches, we'd be able to put 20 of them in here. All right, so 20 inches squared. So what this is gonna be, you know what most people are gonna do? This is the most common mistake. They go, oh, five times whatever this is, something, equals 20. And guess what they put? They put four. But four is not the right answer. It's not because four would be the right answer if the whole thing were 20. And this wouldn't be 20, this would be 10. So, so that doesn't work. So watch what does work. Do this. If we know that's 20, draw the whole thing. Draw the whole thing. That's the half of it's 20. That means all of this, it has to be 40. All right, now combine that. Now you can do five times this equals 40 and that'll give you the answer. Trust me, it works, ready? Five times, well, in this case, it's the base. So it'd be height times base or base times height, whatever. It's still going to give you the same answer. Uh, you know what? Let's just, let's just do it. Let's do base times height to keep it like inconsistent. Base times height 
equals, it's going to equal 40. We said the base, we don't know what the base is, so something times the height, which is 5, equals 40. What do you multiply by 5 to get 40? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 8. 8 times 5 equals 40. So this is going to be 8. Okay, let's watch it again in slow-mo, kind of. All right, base times height equals the area. The base, we'll do blue, height, green, area, yellow. Blue times green is yellow. Blue we don't know. Green, 5, yellow, 40. 8 times 5 is 40. So that's 8. Oh, and some people will do this. They like to just say, you know what, I'm just going to say 40 divided by 5 equals 8. All right? 40 divided by 5 is 8. How many times is 5 going to 40? 8 times. So let's try it from the very beginning. Let's say 5, 8. Will that give us 20 here if we do the, uh, the formula? Let's find out. Area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. So if we say it's 5 times 8, 5 times 8, right? And that's 40. Now, we have to take that 40. Don't forget, divide by 2, split it in half. And what do you know? It works. So it's it works. Bye. Short video. Done.